it's beginning to look a lot like French toast. I was recently reminded of my cranberry eggnog French toast. It's been three or four years, so here we go. Cranberry eggnog French toast. First things first, heat up some pure maple syrup. Please don't use that fake stuff. Today I'm using Pennsylvania pure maple syrup. Now I do a lot of French toast videos and you know that I'm the coffee creamer king when it comes to French toast. But today, we are gonna use eggnog. So maybe you have a local dairy, your favorite eggnog. This is what I just picked up at the grocery store, but check it out. If I'm using coffee creamer, I would simply throw some eggs in there with it. But today, we're gonna use Eggnog. I'm gonna give my eggnog French toast batter a test. When I'm making my own batter with coffee creamer, I always augment it. Use things like vanilla or almond seasoning or cinnamon. That tastes pretty good. So I think today I'm just gonna put a little bit of cinnamon in there and we're gonna call it good. The maple syrup's been heating up for a few minutes and we are gonna add some fresh cranberries in here. Oh my goodness, this is bringing back memories. And as time passes, you'll start to see the syrup simmer and froth up. The cranberries will actually pop open and it will infuse the maple syrup with red cranberry deliciousness. Today I found some St. Pierre brioche bread. Of course we love brioche for French toast, has a high egg content. Now you've heard me talk about French toast a lot and I say I like really, really thick slices. These aren't gonna cut it today. So I'm just gonna stack these somehow. We'll shingle them and we'll make them look perfect. I should have also mentioned that I like a large square or rectangular container. That way you can put a few pieces of bread in there at one time. And you do walk a fine line when you're doing this. You don't want things to get too soggy and fall apart, but you wanna make sure you get complete coverage for your French toast. Now I'm not gonna tell you where to set your burners because every griddle is different, but you wanna make sure that it's warm enough to cook French toast. Non-stick cooking spray down on the griddle top and down with that French toast. See that beautiful cinnamon on top of the bread there. I mentioned that thick brioche is my favorite and this is one of the reasons why. When you go to flip thin French toast, it's just kinda messy, right? It's thin, <laughs> but we're gonna get the job done today. There we go, perfect. Nice yellow and accents of gold and brown. Time to plate these up. I'm gonna put the one that's probably the most colorful on the bottom. I'm actually just gonna use my fingers here since we're at the house. I'm gonna put a little, uh, kind of like cheese stacking. Ooh, that's hotter than I thought. <laughs> I'm gonna stack these sort of like cheese. <laughs> Be really careful with that hot cranberry syrup. Alrighty, there we go. And there is our French toast. I'm gonna ladle that beautiful cranberry maple syrup on top. Make sure we get plenty of berries. Look at that, by the way. Look how gorgeous that looks. And a little powdered sugar on top. So I couldn't find the correct plate when I made this earlier. There we go. Now I found the correct plate. <laughs> Sometimes when you're running and gunning and you're filming, you know, things just don't work out the way you envision them. So we'll go ahead and give that one last dusting of the powdered sugar. And now, we can do a take a look at that. Now I don't want to beat a dead horse, but thick brioche would have been better. And of course, that red maple syrup, those beautiful cranberries, the uh, powdered sugar on top. Let's get in there. Oh man, check that out. I'm going in for a big bite today, friends. So, uh, you know, choose your bite according <laughs> to the size of your mouth. Let's give it a try. I found this recipe by accident. Like three or four years ago, I was looking for Christmas recipes, and I thought to myself, hey, what if I put cranberries in maple syrup? Listen, there was no culinary expertise involved there. I'm just a guy that likes to take chances. A cranberry by itself is so tart, but mixed 
with the sweetness of that pure maple syrup, it's dynamite. So whatever the occasion, maybe it's before a day of Christmas shopping, Christmas Eve, Christmas morning, New Year's Eve, you get the point, cranberry eggnog French toast. And we'll also get this recipe up at BlackstoneProducts.com if you want a written version as well. Speaking of BlackstoneProducts.com, that's your portal for everything Blackstone. So you want to find out what other shows we have, like maybe Chef and E.T., a shout out, maybe The Hungry Hussy, our newest show, of course, Blackstone Betty. CJ, CJ's first cooking show, Chef Nate with Cook, Eat, Repeat, and of course right here, my show, Let's Give It a Try. Thank you for watching, and I wish you the merriest of Christmas and happy holidays. Until next time, praise the Lord and pass the Cranberry Eggnog French Toast. Mm -hmm.